Hey guys, what's up? It's a real R32 here. Bit of a different intro. Um, want to make a bit of a serious commentary. I want to talk about my 2013 in review. Uh, this most likely is going to be a either two or three part segment. Um, I'm going to be talking about my Yu-Gi-Oh life of 2013. Uh, talking about what I feel like I accomplished. Um, some of my ups and downs in my life of 2013. Uh, that's pretty much going to be the gist of these videos. So if you don't really care about those and just want to hear about my um, about my Yu-Gi-Oh stories, pretty much, then um, by all means, um, please just you know watch up to that point and then just leave because uh, you know I don't want to be wasting your time with um, with anything else in the video. I'm trying to look away because I don't want to look at the gameplay. Like literally, I'm looking at my lamp uh, here at my desk. Uh, instead of the the gameplay on the screen, and I can't turn off the screen or else the recording might cut and I might not realize it. Um, but yeah, so my 2013 review, my Yu-Gi-Oh! wise in 2013, I I didn't really accomplish much. You know, uh, I'm not really playing as much right now just because it's the Dragon Ruler at full power format with six cents in return, and I'm gonna wait until January 1st start playing again, going to locals and regionals and all that. Um, right now, I'm just sticking with Dueling Network and Dev Pro. My dad, though, he did get his invite, so I'm definitely going to Vegas, even if I don't get mine. Be able to see all the other your, all the other YouTubers. Hopefully, get a good amount of subs from that because of all the deck profiles and seeing all the other YouTubers and stuff. Um, in regards to other things in my life, for me personally, 2013 was uh, a lot of ups and downs uh, in my personal life, of course, whether it be you know family things or school or what have you. Um, <clears throat> I think overall, um, it was it was definitely stress ridden. Oh my god, it, it was so stress ridden. This this past year has definitely been full of stress. Um, but I feel that 2014 is definitely going to be my best year uh, to date. Um, like, I I did a lot of different things this past 2013. You know, I really stepped out of my comfort zone in some ways. Um, n this past summer, uh, I went on a cruise. Um, I really focused on my YouTube channel, and I my YouTube channel skyrocketed this year. Now that I think about it, like, uh, like if you go back and look at my older videos, like I'm gonna link one in the description, and it's from um, this old netbook that I have, uh, and it's in like 240p, and it's so badly lagging. And uh, how I used to do my old videos was that I have this little brown desk in my room, and I would set the netbook there, and um, I would do my videos that way, and I would like do deck profiles and stuff, and they were in so bad quality, and I didn't know how to do tags at the time, because this was back in 2008, 2009, uh, when YouTube was actually good, <laughs> um, but uh, one of the things that you would do is that you would put in tags, and they wouldn't appear as little boxes like they do now to show you that you've you know shown off the tag. You had to put commas, so what it would be like, like for example, if you're typing out tags on one of your videos, you type in Yu-Gi-Oh, comma, space then it would have like, well, what it is now is that it'll show the box. I don't even think you even need commas anymore. But it would show the box. Back then, uh, you would have to type in, for example, Yu-Gi-Oh, comma, space. Okay, you put the comma that is an initial tag. Well, I didn't put commas, so I'd put Yu-Gi-Oh, M. Cole 40, Pause Joker, Agent Persuasion, blah, 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 blah. And I'd put all of these names, but the thing is, is that since I didn't put commas, it didn't separate them technically. So they were technically all one big tag. So it was basically impossible to find my video, so they'd only get like two, three, four, or five views. That was the issue. So, of course, I didn't realize this at the time, and my channel wasn't growing at all. I was getting really aggravated. I even made a rant video where, like, <laughs> I, I was so, like, like my, my ways for YouTube have definitely changed since back then. Like, when I first started YouTube, I thought it'd be a lot of fun. Then once I learned from other YouTubers, like, through their videos, that you could make money and make a profit, I started to make it about money. And it it made YouTube stressful for me. Like, I wasn't growing at all, and it was just, like, it was so annoying, and it was so stupid. So I ended up quitting uh, for a little bit, and then I made a channel called CodexP96, and then I was doing gameplay in Minecraft and stuff on that channel, and I actually met one of my friends through it, uh, who I'm still friends with on Facebook today. We don't really talk a lot, and we don't do videos anymore. But he quit YouTube because he was tired of all the editing. <laughs> that was his reason that he told me. And then I got a copyright strike on that channel um, for whatever reason. I think it was because I uploaded a scene of like DBZ uh, when Goku's beating the living crap out of Janimba. And I think I, I titled it something like, whenever school pisses me off, I wish I could do this. <laughs> so that was the video, and I got a copyright strike, and it said this video is banned in Korea and Japan. So I'm like, okay, 
I, I hate YouTube. Screw YouTube. So I ended up opening up Codex P99, where I upload. I was trying to upload all my videos from 96 on a 99, and it just didn't work out. And both those channels are still open. I just don't do anything on those channels anymore. And I'm thinking about just shutting them down, um, because there's no real point in having those channels anymore. Um, but it's two free subs, so it's like, why not? <laughs> um, but yeah, so I came back to a real R32, posted on Vexy's channel, became famous for my self-destruct button deck on his channel, uh, and that helped me skyrocket a little bit, and here I am today with just over 300 subscribers, and uh, I am think I'm at like 306 right now at the making of this video, uh, and it's, it's, it's really cool, you know, it's, it's super, super cool to know that 300 plus people watch my videos, some of them probably inactive, but... <laughs> Um, it's just, it's so cool, you know, it really is, um, obviously most of the ones from back when I first started are m most likely inactive, except for maybe two of them that I still keep in contact with, who are both of them are my friends, um, and they, they still kind of do YouTube, I guess, um, so, uh, shout out to those two friends, actually, Tuner928 and Diceboy22. <laughs> Uh, I, be I believe that was uh, his name, Tuner928, a good buddy of mine. Um, he quit Yu-Gi-Oh, went to Magic, quit Magic, came back to Yu-Gi-Oh, and here he is today. <laughs> um, but yeah, so th those two guys have been subbed to me since the beginning of my channel, and uh, it's been cool to, you know, uh, have those people still subscribe to me, and I still talk to them to this day five years later, like five, no, I'm sorry, six years later. Been around on YouTube for six years with, I should have more subs than that, but well, more subs than this, uh, over 300 after being around for six years. I've been around longer than Vexy, and Vexy's got like 17,000 subs. How embarrassing. <laughs> but it's it's no biggie. You know, I didn't realize what I was really doing back in the day. Not really. Uh, if I would have put in the tags correctly, I feel that I would have uh, tenfold the amount of subscribers that I have now. But that's whatever. That's for a video for a different day. A different video for a different day. I can't even talk today. <laughs> um, but back back to what I was saying about um, being out of my comfort zone now that I just went on big old tangent. Expect a lot of random ass tangents in this commentary because <laughs> it's gonna happen. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, I stepped out of my comfort zone. I went on a cruise. I met a bunch of awesome people there. Um, you know, I met a girl there, of course, you know, and I uh, actually just got off the phone with her at the making of this commentary, and um, she she's an awesome girl. I'm not gonna lie. I, I wish she w would live here in my area instead of you know, across the state, or across the country, <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, you know, uh, I, I would say, though, definitely my resolution for 2014, um, surprisingly, my, my resolution for 2014, I want to be more chill about stuff, like, like, you, you, you don't see me when I actually rage, like, the rage video that I actually, uh, deleted off of my channel where I was cussing Konami out about, you know, self-destruct button, them banning it and everything, like, that, that's not actually me whenever I get mad. That's my joking mad. Like, me actually getting mad, like, I get I get pretty pissed, you guys. And I, I keep it off of YouTube because, like I said, and I've said this plenty of times, I treat YouTube as a business. Uh, my channel is uh, a business that I've started, essentially. Um, and I try to keep my personal issues of my life outside of YouTube. Yes, I will talk about them sometimes on my YouTube channel to get you know, support from you guys, because I do, tr I do like to think all of you guys are my friends, um, which is really cool to think, you know, 300 plus people, I've got 300 plus friends on YouTube, you know, that, you know, would, you know, let me post on their channel, or, you know, what have you, or anything like that, um, but my resolution would be definitely to stop getting so mad about stuff, um, stop raging, I guess, um, and, uh, uh, you know, just watch my stuff like that, um, cause I, you know, I do like to stay a chill person. Like, I am a super chill person. I'm probably the most chill person you will ever meet. But when I get mad, I am like Hulk smash mad when I truly do get mad. Um, so, that's just one of those little things. Um, any other resolutions would, this is gonna make me sound like such a nerd. I don't even care. YOLO. <laughs> but, my resolution for 2014 would definitely be to, to find me that perfect girl that, you know, everybody's looking for. Um, you know, I'm you know, I'm a uh, junior or 11th grade in high school. You know, I'm going to be graduating next year, which is friggin' nuts. I'm going to be graduating in the year 2015, which is insane. I cannot wait to graduate high school and just get out of there, go off to college, and just live my life. And uh, that that's actually something else I do want to address in this commentary, is that I honestly don't know how long I'm going to be doing YouTube. Like, 
you know, I just reached 300 subscribers, which is great, but unless, I'm going to say this, a year from now, I'm going to look back at this video, and I'm going to see the growth that I've made, and I, f I feel that I have made the growth significant enough to where I can either A, live off of YouTube, B, still make YouTube videos, play Yu-Gi-Oh! and go to college all at the same time, or C, go to college and still play Yu-Gi-Oh! or D, make videos just to be able to make a living off of them, then I'll stick around on YouTube. Because as it stands right now, my fear is that I'm going to have to quit YouTube once I graduate out of high school because college is going to be busy as hell. Granted, I've heard that people do play Yu-Gi-Oh! in college, but I don't know what it's like in the Florida state area. So, yeah, because people are pretty, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say demanding, um, I would say people are very judgmental, I'll say, in Florida. And this is what I hate about the share button, just real quick while I'm looking over at the commentary. The, the, com the, what do you call it, this gameplay video cuts off at 13 minutes and 49 seconds. I didn't realize I was sharing this, I didn't. I thought I'd start sharing from the point when I got my friggin' Hilo pilot with my Honey Badger class. Yes, I'm camping. I don't care. But the, the sharing button's been pissing me off a little bit because I don't realize that I'm sharing. So whenever I go to click the share button, nice like switch, bro. Um, I don't realize that I'm sharing. And so I go to click the share button and it turns off my sharing. I went like 35 and 5 at the end of this game. Or like 35 and 6, something like that. That MK38 is so good. <laughs> um, but yeah, I did not realize I was sharing all this, you guys. I didn't. I had thought that I was going to start sharing once I got my Helo pilot up, and I would go 35 and 5, or 35 and 6, whatever it was, and I, I would be able to show off how much of a beast I am, but it didn't friggin' pop up. So you're going to see you're gonna see this video stop being shared um, at the point of me getting my Helo pilot when I thought I was sharing the whole time. So I will say I did go 35 and 5 at the end of this game. One of my best, uh, I would say, uh, multiplayer games. Uh, to date, because, you know, I, I don't really try and stress myself over Call of Duty goes because you can get bs on a lot, like, it, it's friggin' nuts how much you get bs on, and the fact that, like, you die so quick as well is another irritating thing, like, sometimes I feel like I'm playing Modern Warfare 3 just without the crap-ass lag compensation, as I like to call it, um, but yeah, so I think I will split this into a part two, uh, and part two I will discuss, um, you know, other things relating to my life, uh, possibly some other Yu-Gi-Oh stuff I can think of. Them. Oh, and um, I forgot to mention one more thing about 2013. I became a judge. I became a legal Yu-Gi-Oh judge. Um, so if you guys ever have any questions about rulings or anything, just send them to me in a message. Or, you know, if if I'm talking about, like, say, a deck profile in a video, you can leave it in a comment if you have any questions. But I like to think I'm pretty good with my rulings. Um, I don't know all of them in the book, obviously. You know, I'm not uh, I'm not a Julia Hedberg. I'm not a, uh, a Charlie Chaplin. Charlie was really good with his rulings. Like, if you got him as a judge, you were in good shape because he was a good judge. He did not BS you like I've seen some other judges do. Like, uh, oh, good God. Like, I went to this regional, and the head judge ruled that if you transmigration prophecy a uh, abyss gunned, <clears throat> like whenever its effect tries activates and you transmigration it or you DD crow it, it doesn't get its effect. And then this guy called that same judge over and I actually talked to the guy because uh, I'd played him earlier in the the regional. This is just recent. This was this format, the uh, current Dragon Ruler Return Six Sense Herpeter format. Uh, ooh, <laughs> sorry guys. Um, the gameplay cut off. But no, what I was just gonna finish up real quick with this part one <clears throat> was um, he reruled it. So like. At the beginning of the day, he said, if you DD Crow Transmigration and Abyss Gun, it doesn't get its effect. Later, the guy, this guy that I played in the regional, next round he played this guy who's running Mermel. S extremely similar thing happened, except it was Pike's effect activating or something. I don't even remember. And then the judge said, no, if you Transmigration or DD Crow uh, Abyss Gun, then, then it does still get its effect. But the head judge just said differently, and it was the head judge that was called over. So it's like, <clears throat> why would you change your ruling throughout the regional? Like, you're so stupid. Anyways, I'm not going to give away any names, but that was just something that happened. Uh, anyways, this was part one. Uh, I'm going to split this into a part two. So I will see you guys either tomorrow with part two or later tonight with part two. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.